Okay, so the DJI Mic 2. As, um, as an audio professional and a DJI action camera enthusiast, I was super excited to buy these units. I've been waiting for them for a long time, ever since the Pocket 3 came out, and the Mic 2 was like soft released. And, um, and yeah, I, I love 32-bit float audio. And so for me, I was this is the purchase that I've been waiting for for a long time. And so it's really tough for me to make this video because I, I feel disappointed. But that's not to say that you will be disappointed if you purchase these microphones. So, um, so I'm just going to take this video to tell you the big issue that I found with this microphone set that I have. My two microphones sound different from each other. That's right. There is an audible difference between these two microphones that you see right here. And in fact, I've recorded this whole opening segment using these microphones, and I have switched back and forth between them periodically so that you can hear the difference. And maybe you didn't hear the difference. And if you didn't hear the difference between them, that's awesome, because it means that this is a potentially a non-issue for you. But if you did hear the difference, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about it a little bit and, and and show you exactly what that difference is. Um, and so if you go back, you can see that on one of these transmitters, I have a kind of translucent red dot. That means that that is the transmitter that you were listening to. And in fact, it is not a transmitter issue. It is a built-in microphone issue. This guy, this sounds, um, it has a darker sound to it, a little bit more full-bodied, but slightly muffled. This one has a brighter, more, um, with some more clarity to it. And so I'm going to go back. I'll play that clip once again, back to back with different transmitters. So you can hear a back to back difference between these microphones. So put on your headphones, turn on your studio monitors and have a listen for yourself. This guy, this sounds, um, it has a darker sound to it, a little bit more full bodied, but slightly muffled. This one has a brighter, more, um, with some more clarity to it. This guy, this sounds, um, it has a darker sound to it, a little bit more full bodied, but slightly muffled. This one has a brighter, more, um, with some more clarity to it. Okay. So what is this? How is this actually possible? How did I confirm this? Well, it's not just that I, as a, as a professional voice talent, I listen to my voice recorded back uh, every day over and over again for a number of years. And um, so I have an ear for what my voice sounds like on different microphones. And I was quickly able to hear a difference between this mic and this mic. But I wanted to do my due diligence and run some thorough testing. So what I did was I set up these microphones in, a, in the same position in front of one of my studio monitors. I then played some pink noise, which is um, basically a clip of all of the frequencies kind of evenly distributed. And then I did a frequency analysis of both of the microphones. And you can see from this image that the frequency response of these mics is different. And I did a whole bunch of additional testing, um, including running them through different uh, recording formats with or without low cut filters on and enabled through connected to Bluetooth to my, to my DJI action Four camera connected to my receiver via wireless, um, in 24 bit and 32 bit float in all of the different iterations that it was always the same. There was this difference in frequency response with the built-in microphones. I know it's the built-in microphones because I replicated the same test, but instead of using the built-in mics, I connected an external microphone. And when I did that, this is what the frequency analysis of that test looks like. And you can see that they are virtually identical. Now, I, I know what you're going to argue. Um, between any microphone, there is going to be some variation in the manufacturing process. And, um, and these are not advertised as matched pairs, which in the audio world means that uh, the manufacturer takes two microphones and they make sure that the sound signature and frequency responses are nearly identical so that you can do matched pair stereo recordings with them. And DJI never says that these are matched pairs. But 
for them to tout them as pro audio level, but then to have audible differences between each microphone, uh, it feels uh, it feels a little less than pro. And I know what you're thinking. Maybe I just got a bad set. Maybe it's a quality assurance issue, a quality control thing, and maybe one of them is defective um, and, and I just got unlucky. But what are the chances of the thousands and thousands and thousands of units that they've shipped out that the one defective unit goes to me, the audio person who is going to run through these tests and hear these differences? Um, and that's not to say that one is bad or that one is broken because I, I don't know. They just sound different. This one sounds darker. This one sounds brighter. It's not a right or wrong situation. It's a difference in how they sound. And for the majority of people out there who uh, you might not even know that they potentially could sound different, your pair might not sound different. Um, your use application, it might not matter to you. But for other people who are going to be using this in paid work, professional work, it could matter. Because if you have a microphone that is a little darker and you have a microphone that is a little brighter and you are doing a two-person interview with two people with different voices and one of them has a lower voice and one of them has a higher voice, man, it just gets to be a nightmare when it comes to editing all of your stuff in post because you don't have that reliability to get consistent recordings every time you go out in the field. Right? What if you had to do pickup recordings and you had to remic people, but you don't know which one you mic them up with? Side note, I do have a way of distinguishing which one of mine is the brighter one and darker one. Um, the magnetic clip on the back has two images. My darker microphone gets the dark DJI logo. My brighter microphone gets the light DJI logo. So ultimately, what does this mean for you and me and DJI? Well. I do have an email out to DJI saying, hey, here, here's my issue with the microphones that I just purchased. Um, here are the screenshots of the frequency responses that you can see that my mics are different. Is it a quality assurance thing? What is, what is the resolution of this? And as of 24 hours, I have not heard back. Now, granted, it is a Saturday, so maybe someone will respond to me within the next few days. And if they do, I will definitely make a follow-up video so that you know what the resolution is. But regardless of what DJI says, this means that potentially there are mismatched microphones that were sent out to reviewers that were sent out to you. And when you consume all of those comparison videos online between the DJI Mic 2 and the Rode Wireless Pro or any other wireless systems or any comparison between the DJI Mic 1 and the DJI Mic 2, across any number of creators, their microphones could sound different from each other, meaning that you don't have a consistent base to make informed decisions. And so, I don't know. Is this a big issue? Is it going to be something that prevents you from buying this microphone set? Is it something that DJI will actually address? It's it's like for me the um, the focus issue with the Action Three a couple of years ago, except that people could readily detect whether or not their camera had a focus issue because it was a visual thing. Because this is an audio thing and one isn't better than the other and everyone's voice is different and everyone's recording environment is different, this could just go undetected, right? You could be living in the matrix happily with your DJI Mic 2 and never know that your microphones sound different from each other because you've never used them in a situation where you had to compare them directly. But in the words of a, a great philosopher, if you don't know, now you know. And so let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this issue? Is it a is it a deal breaker for you? 
am I just being nitpicky when it comes to what I consider to be pro audio? Uh, what could DJI do about it? I, I don't know, but I'd love to hear your thoughts to continue the conversation down below. If you have any other questions, I will be making potentially additional videos about the DJI Mic 2. Um, but until I sort out why these microphones sound different, uh, those videos might be a little while in their release. But otherwise, thanks so much for entertaining my conspiracy theory about the Mic 2. Uh, and we'll talk again real soon.